All right. So, welcome back to another C++ tutorial and today I'm going to talk to you about working with files, reading from files and actually outputting from to files. Now let's create a new project. Files C++ source and we're going to name it files. Files input and output. Okay, let's save it. We write down our standard lines. For the CSTDO is for the ones who want to work with it. I'm actually going to work with IOS 3 more. Okay, so say I, I want to make a simple program and read two integers, add them and get the sum of them and print it. So I'm gonna actually read A, B and output the sum which is gonna be sum it's gonna be A plus B and that's actually my my program to run in the screen. That's how it runs in the screen. Let's compile a run. Okay, so I give two integers, 23 and 9 for example, and the answer is 32. And I want to make this to work with files. I want to read the two numbers from file, the, the input file, input file here, and the output file here. Okay, so what do I do is actually I change the library from iostream to fstream which works with files and I do this, I say ifstream which is gonna be like c in. I could have actually changed this to f in or d in whatever and I, I should have wrote d in or f in here but since I have c in and I do not have iostream I can use c in alright and there you write the name of the file so let's, let's actually first create two files okay so we have the input file let's get two numbers inside it 42 and minus 1 and we do this we do we actually save it as name we write down the name of it, name, and dot in. This should not be txt, it should be dot in because it's, it's an input file. We save it, close this, and we say name dot in. That's, that's how I actually use the input file. Now I, I want to create also an output file which is going to be created automatically from my from my program let's use cout oh and by the way we write off stream it's if stream and off stream input and output and let's name it answer dot out dot out, dot out it's for the out file alright so let's actually run our program, compile run, and the execution has been done. Now let's open the answer.out file. Open answer.out, and the answer should be 41. 42 minus 1, it's 41. And that's how you actually read from files. You can actually read strings, you can actually read whatever you want from files and another thing that a lot of you are gonna see is how I read until the end of the file so let's say that uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna read only the A variable I don't need the B and each time I'm gonna add it to the sum until it's till the process is over so what I actually do is I write while 
it's not that's what this symbol means it's not the the end of the file my imp file I'm gonna read a and some is gonna be some plus a alright <coughs> so that's how it's done actually if I had three numbers it would add the both all the three of them so let's actually write that's that let's open to check pad file open I'm sure Put out oh oh what did I what what did I did wrong was that I actually did not say that sum is gonna be zero now it's gonna work let's do it again done and let's open it again oh, 41 now let's let's change the the input file name the thing let's na let's do it like I want the sum of all of these numbers until the end of the file so it should be like 5, 6, it should be 48 and let's say minus 8 should be 40 the answer so let's save it and close now let's run again now the answer should be 40 file open answer do that and the answer is 40 so that's how you read until the end of the file but keep an eye keep an eye on the fact that if there is an end line in your input file then the last the last thing that you are reading is gonna be read two times and let me show you what I mean so let's open our input file my input in and see I do not have an end line here if I have an end line right here the answer that it's gonna be printed it's not 40 it's gonna be 32 and let's see this let's check this okay All right now open it the answer see 32 because when there is an end line in your input file the last the last thing that you're reading is gonna be read two times so not this list okay so that's how you read from files that's how you read till the end of file hope you guys liked uh, my tutorials and please subscribe for more of them goodbye